toilet quite literally exploded. The sink would have snot in it. <laughs> Definitely have to watch out for elitists. Breakout rooms are so awkward. I'm a down south for the West Coast vibe. Keep the vans on when it's live. Hi guys, I'm Dara, I'm Tarara, and welcome back to our channel. In case you didn't know, we're sophomores here at Georgia Tech. We've had quite a busy week last week. We had a CS quiz, we had like a math midterm. Let's get on to the topic of today's video. Today's video is going to be all about asking sophomores what they really think about Georgia Tech. So basically our friends slash people that we know, yeah. So last week I sent out a Google form with a bunch of questions and we're gonna read the responses and see what people think. So let's just explain the questions we ask people and like the information they're gonna give us basically. Do you mind sharing any other schools you looked at apart from tech? What would you say is the one thing that made you come to tech? What freshman dorm did you live in? Rate your freshman dorm on a scale of one to 10. Do you have any horror stories about living with your roommates or living in the dorms? What's the hardest class you've taken at tech and why? Rate dining hall food on a scale from one to 10. What has been the highlight of your experience at Tech so far? What is your pet peeve about online learning? Favorite food spot on campus slash Atlanta in general? What's your top tip for de-stressing? If you could tell your freshman self something on day one, what would it be? And then we had an anything else to add section, but let's just get started. So our first response is from Savannah, one of the first people we met in freshman year. She is a CS major with a Spanish minor and she is from here in Georgia. Another school she considered was UGA and she didn't consider anywhere else. Why did she choose Czech? One of the best STEM schools in the nation and I get Zell Miller, which is a scholarship, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what freshman dorm did she live in? Towers. Dara also lived in Towers. I lived in Towers and she actually rated it a nine out of 10. Any horror stories about living with her roommates? No, she loved her freshman year roommate and she's still living with her freshman year roommate. So that's nice. That's really nice. She said the hardest class she's ever taken, physics 1211 or linear algebra 1554. I so feel that. I also took 1554 and that was also, and physics one was also me. just a nightmare. She rated dining hall food a six out of 10. What has been your highlight of your experience at Tech so far? Meeting a lot of cool new people who are both similar to me and incredibly different from me. Also Willage. Willage spot on West Campus. Yeah, if you don't know what Willage is, it's basically West Village or West Campus. Giant Hall or West Campus. Favorite GT tradition? Midnight buddy. Midnight buddy studying with people at midnight. <laughs> Call me me. Yeah, literally not me. I love screaming with everyone else right before finals week. It's a great bonding experience. What do you think is the hardest thing about being at Tech? Trying to balance your academic life with your social life and personal well-being and maintaining a responsible sleep schedule. Definitely. She was like, she was like, the professor seemed really disconnected from us and don't really take our mental health into account, which with when assigning work. Also, honor luck is a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite food spot on campus, she says Willage, and in Atlanta she says Grindhouse Killer Burgers. How did she never been? Never been. Mm -hmm. Her top tip of de-stressing, drawing a painting with a nice chill playlist. We love that. Mm -hmm. We love that. <laughs> if you could tell your freshman self something, what would it be? Not all the friends you meet in freshman year are going to be your forever friends. Yeah. yeah. True that. Yeah. True that. And don't overwork yourself either. Anything else you'd like to add? She says tech is mm -hmm. great, but you definitely have to watch out for elitists. And unfortunately, there are a lot of them. Oh, really? tea. She spilled the tea, Savannah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Our next response is from Ciara. Love you, Ciara, the queen, the gym queen, personal <laughs> trainer, everything, volleyball player. She is a BME major with a minor in AE. And she's from New York. Yeah. Yeah. What other schools did you consider apart from tech? She considered RIT, Case Western Reserve University, and Penn State. Good schools. What would you say is the one thing that made you choose tech? And she said the prestige of the BME program. I fell in love with the school when I visited my sophomore year of high school. What freshman dorm did you live in? She lived in Fitton Hall, which is kind of like a twin dorm yeah, with like Freeman, like, which is where Tawara lived. Yeah. And she gave it an eight out of 10, so you can tell those are like yeah. quite good dorms on West Campus. Do you have any horror stories about living in your freshman dorm slash living with roommates? And she said, no, my dorm was pretty chill. We love to see that. What's the hardest class you've taken at Tech and why? Linear Algebra, I cried way too much. I also took <laughs> Linear Algebra at the same time as CR, and bruh, we cried. Please rate the dining hall food, and she gave it a four out of 10. Mm, yeah. yeah, we're kind of seeing some four to sixes. Yeah. What has been the highlight of your experience at Tech so far? And she said, Meeting friends I can be myself around, like Dara and Tara. Stop. Stop! And finding a welcoming community at Tech coming from out of state. Yeah. yeah. And her favorite GT tradition is rat caps. I might throw up a picture if you don't know what rat caps are. The yellow caps. 
We all get them when we are commenced, not commenced, in the convocation. What do you think is the hardest thing about being a tech? She said fighting imposter syndrome when you are surrounded by people you think are smarter than you. Yeah. Yeah. To get into tech, you must be smart, but it's hard to remind yourself that you you actually deserve to be here. Yeah. yeah. Imposter syndrome. Yeah. Massive. Pet peeve about online learning. She said trying to stay focused when you are on a computer all day. 100%. Yeah. Especially when the weather's nice outside. Favorite food spot on campus in Atlanta. She said Pappies and Negril ATO. Basically, you can tell me and Jared don't go out because we never know <laughs> where these places are. Top tip for de-stressing, she said, pick one day slash evening a week to do something you want to do and reset and conquer the next challenge. Yeah. Word. 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 That's a fact. the why. If you tell your freshman self one thing, what would it be? And she said, not getting an A is not the end of the world, which is like, just so, so true. And everybody just actually needs to learn. I don't have a score pointer. Everybody just needs to take their own advice. Like, Our next response is from Kylie. Hi, Kylie. Kylie was another one of the friends I made in freshman year, and we did learn algebra together. We were in the same recitation. We took all our tests, like, at the same time. So we were in chemistry together. Yeah. She is an AE major with industrial resign, and she's actually from out of state. She's from Colorado, which is really cool. Awesome. What places did you consider, as well as tech? And she said, University of Boulder, Florida Tech, Colorado School of Mines. Right. What could you say is the one thing that made you choose tech? And she said it has a good aerospace program and it's in the city. Yeah. What freshman dorm did you live in? Hanson, East Campus. And she gave it a four out of ten. I'm sorry. <laughs> she always used to like highly would if she comes to class and she'd be like, oh my god, the AC is broken in our in our room. Yeah, Hanson, like, mm, maybe not. Basically, GT, just fix your freshman dorm. Hardest class you've taken at tech and why? Thermodynamics and fluid fundamentals. I'm so scared to take, take that class. Okay. It was one of my first major specific classes and it was entirely new context. Also, it was a lot of information for a short amount of time. She gave dining hall food a six out of 10. What has been a highlight of your experience so far? Football games, studying with friends on campus. Yeah, football games were definitely a highlight mm -hmm. while they existed. Favorite GT tradition for her is, I love that our mascot is an old car. <laughs> I, I thought our mascot was Buzz. No. Okay. I don't even know. What's our mascot? <laughs> if you know what our mascot is, do you tell us. Comments. What do you think is the hardest thing about being at tech? And she said balancing the workload of school on top of hobbies and a social life. Yes. What is your pet peeve about online learning? Breakout rooms are so awkward. Yes. Yeah, I love breakout rooms. Uh, can we just ew. delete? Can we cancel breakout break rooms? Just top tip for de-stressing, she said getting off campus, whether it's a park, shopping, or getting dinner somewhere. Her favorite food spot on campus is Starbucks. Clicks back. I feel like that's that's yeah, gonna be for us. If you could tell your freshman self one thing, what would it be? Be yourself and put yourself out there. 100%. Such wholesome tips. Yeah. So our next response is from Daniel. I haven't seen Daniel in so long, obviously because of the pandemic, but he's a civil engineering major and he's from Georgia. So let's see his responses. So what other schools did he consider apart from tech? UGA, classic. Yes. Uh, Georgians, yeah. Why did he choose tech? I got waylisted from UGA. <laughs> It was in state a top tier engineering school in the area, pretty much the best bang for your buck. We're better than UGI. Why would you want to get UGI? <laughs> what freshman dorm did you live in? He lived in Harrison and he also gave it a four out of ten. You're starting to see these the patterns. patterns on these other dorms, apart from Towers and Glen and East Campus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um any horror stories about living with roommates? And he said people would be loud and running in the hallway late at night, sink would have snow in it. Room had tiles and like others with carpet or hardwood. My wall was swelling and cracking since it was next to a communal bathroom. That is terrible. Yikes! Like borderline <laughs> breaking the human rights, you know what I mean? What's the hardest class you've taken at tech? Math 2551, multivariable calculus, calculus. physics one, yes, everybody says that. Yeah. And then he also says CEE 2300. I don't know what that is, but it sounds hard. He gives dining hall food a 3 out of 10. Highlight of your experience at tech so far, he said, the memories I have made at parties, friends, Friday nights out. Yes, yes. I miss Friday night nights out, oh my god. And in person events pre COVID, 100%. Yeah. What do you think is the hardest thing about being a tech? Some people have not found the sweet spot yet in terms of getting work done and managing their school life and regular life. Like working out, friendships, relationships, sleep. I'm still changing like every semester. I totally get that. We can't do everything, it's a consensus. What is your pet peeve about online learning? It feels like I still have to watch lectures outside of the assigned lecture time to catch mm. up and it makes my days often feel really sluggish. Yeah. I wish I was just taught the material as good as it can be taught during the live synchronous sessions mm -hmm. and not have to watch a pre-class lecture or additional videos or learn the material on my own from other sources like YouTube. Favorite food spot on campus, he said cookout. Again, we need to go to these places. <laughs> what is your top tip for de-stressing? Finding a genuine person who can listen to you rant about your current struggles, whether it's school, non-school stuff, personal things. I feel really careful mm -hmm. when people listen to me and what I deal with, and I do the same for my friends when needed. Yeah, guys, be there for your be friends. Be there for your friends, be a good friend. You can tell your freshman self something on 
day one, what would it be? And he said, telling yourself you're confident and won't actually build confidence. It's an internal subconscious feeling. Also, don't try so hard to throw out this five star image of yourself when you know you're not completely that on the inside. Wow, these are really deep and really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah these are sponsors. These are really really clicks on these response, Daniel. So he added something else and he said, cut off those people who make you question your values. T. Self worth, worth as a friend, or make you ruminate about the bad things they have done around you. Save yourself the headache, baby girl slash boy. <laughs> Our next response is from Melissa. Oh, Melissa, I miss you. You know, I miss those days in ME7070 when we struggle through the work. Melissa is an ME major just like us. She is from South Florida, but she's actually Turkish, which is just so cool. Did she change her major? And yes, I actually came in as a biomedical engineering with a pre-med track. After my first semester, I changed my major because I thought mechanical engineering might have a wider range of options in regards of fields I can work at. Yeah, a lot of people mm -hmm. say that about ME. Considering other schools apart from tech, she said the Ivy Leagues, Caltech, Berkeley, UCLA, that's literally us. us <laughs> from, we did apply to like all the Ivy Leagues. What would you say is one thing that made you choose tech? I really like being surrounded by like-minded students. I always find myself admiring new things. I learn about my friends and them being interested in an engineering or STEM-based field makes me feel more engaged and interested in the discussions. Wow. What freshman dorm did you live in? Folk, which is West Campus. And she gave it a six out of 10. We're starting to see that the dorms in it as a whole on West actually have higher ratings than the dorms on East. Do you have any horror stories about living with in your freshman dorm with roommates? And she said, I would not say horror stories, but although I met my roommate right before we chose to live together through FaceTime, we actually didn't get along that well once we arrived on campus. Ugh. We both tried to change our rooms the second week of the first semester. But after two or three months, we started getting along better. I think we both started being way more chill and relaxed about certain things. This one time though, one night, I came super late back to my room and I found a guy and girl laying on the floor of my room. She didn't tell me she would have friends over, so that was definitely not a fun night. I would have been like, Ugh. is it time for you to leave or is it time for you to leave? Yeah. What's the hardest class you're taking at Tech and Y? CS1371, it was so much work. And especially homework would take so much time. I remember being awake for so long just to be able to complete the problems. Yeah, CS3071 is not a joke, guys. So guys, um, we have to switch location because go kicked out of our room. Give starting food a six out of 10. Everybody's been giving it back. I really like studying and relaxing with my friends. I don't think I had a high life, but every time I was at West Village, it was always very fun to do work with my friends. Oh, no. Favorite GC tradition is the freshman cake race. We usually died in the freshman mm. cake race. What do you think is the hardest thing about being at Tech? I think tech is very competitive. It is nice to have so many engineers around, but since 85% of tech is engineers, sometimes it's hard to see how special I am or why I'm different. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's easy to get this idea of, I'm like everyone else, I'm not special or different. I think it really takes time to find your own value and work once you come to tech. Wow, wow, that's actually very true. What is your pet peeve about online learning? How they actually give out way more work. <laughs> yes. yes, yeah. Just because it's online now, most yeah. classes make us watch way more videos and read more. Yeah. Yep. Food spot on camp campus that is her favorite. And she said West Village slash Umami. Yes, we love that. I also really like Cypress Street Pint and Plate. It is a restaurant pretty close to Tech Square. Very nice and chill one. Okay, guys, throwing out some recommendations for you. What is your top tip for de stressing? When I'm super stressed, I usually give myself a day off. I eat my favorite snacks and watch TV shows. I also sometimes take a walk on campus and just listen to music. Also, remember that it's never that deep. It's not that deep. Mm -hmm. Something she could tell her freshman self would be. Your freshman experience doesn't need to be perfect, yes. And it really is not going to be. It's never worth to be super stressed. You should also be living your life. Plan for the future and work towards your goals, but be open to changes. It is okay to slow down sometimes, and the most important thing is self-peace, respect, and values. Wow. wow. Well said. Well yeah. said. Next response is from my freshman roommate, who I love, Annalise, and she's an international affairs major and Spanish as well, which is super cool. Oh, and she's also from Georgia. Other schools she was considering were Virginia Tech and UGA. And we asked her, what is the one thing that made her choose tech? I think I always knew that I did not want to go to UGA. Too many people from my high school go there and I wanted to be in a big city. I yeah. chose GT over VT because cost primarily. And again, I wanted to be in the city. For the cost, GT was better school at such a lower rate. What freshman zone did you live in? Freeman with me. And she rated it a six out of 10. I would actually give it more of like a seven. Do you have any horror stories about living in your freshman dorm such living with roommates? I had a very good freshman roommate. For the, <laughs> for the first month of the school year, we kept getting roaches oh, yeah. every Saturday. I forgot about that. It was so odd. We would come back and there would be a roach. Terrible. Mm -hmm. Oh, and don't forget how our room was 55 degrees Fahrenheit. But then we asked for them to fix it and they set it to 90 degrees Fahrenheit the worst two weeks. Yeah, guys, if you want to see that, go check out the web things that happened to us in freshman year that video we explained mm -hmm. that what's the hardest class you've taken and she said linear 1553 everybody else hates linear algebra for one thing i'm not a stem major don't even ask me why i took that class for another halfway through that 
course, a pandemic decided to take over the world. So that class being online was very difficult for me as it moved to the bottom of my priority list, 100%. She gave Diary More Food a 5 out of 10. And what has been a highlight of your experience so far? The people. I've met so many different and interesting people. I feel that it has shaped me to be a better person and it's helped me grow as I have heard of experiences of people from all over the world. They went Jesus tradition. The freshman cake list was fun. I'm glad you found it fun, at least I was not having a good time. What do you think is the hardest thing about being a tech? Imposter syndrome, for sure. It's so easy to compare yourself to others and think you are not enough. And I do not think the school does much to alleviate this. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. What is her pet peeve about online learning? And she said it is difficult to get close to students and professors in comparison to in-person learning. Yeah. Favorite food spot on campus? She says Cafe Intermezzo, Papi, Cuban Grill, Sublime Donuts, Timo, Beard Papas. La last two are technically in Sandy Springs. It's <laughs> a bit far. <laughs> there you go. What is your top tip for de-stressing? I personally love watching movies. The same. So I will take a few hours to put my photo away and fall into the storyline or whatever film I'm watching. So I usually do this on the weekends, sometimes Thursdays. I de-stress at times where I will not be overtly stressed by pushing work off. If I decide to procrastinate work in the name of de-stressing, that will only lead me to be even more stressed in the future. That's such a good That's advice. Such a good advice. Yeah. That's such good advice. If you could tell your freshman self something, what would it be? And she said, I would tell myself that everything will be okay. Yes. yes. That is so cheesy, I know, but I was super stressed and just not organizing my first semester facts. <laughs> and first year at tech, I was not confident in myself and my academic abilities. However, now I'm much more confident in myself and I'm finally getting my life together. We love that for you, Annalise. Anything else you'd like to add? Tech is a great school. My experience has been from a liberal arts point of view, so it could be different from a STEM one, but I've met people outside of my college that are wonderful. Plus, the city is so nice. There's so much to do and I'm excited to keep on exploring. Thank you so much, Annalise. That was such a happy, cute, yeah. positive one. hardest class you've taken at tech. Currently thermodynamics, it ain't no joke. I feel it's a little more abstract than any other of the classes I've taken. It requires a little bit more effort and thinking when answering questions. There's just a lot of factors that you have to consider. All that said, it's great satisfaction when you actually get a question correct. He gives dining food a 7 out of 10. Generous. Highlight of to being at tech so far, he said, if I said something, I'll get into trouble. Okay, that's not, that's not say it. Favorite GT tradition, definitely the pie mile. Whenever I go on runs now, I also just stop at 3.14 kilometers or miles up for debate. Wow, people who go on runs. Yeah. <laughs> Hardest thing about being at tech, and he says, tech is academically demanding, definitely. There is no chill sometimes. Yes. That being said, there's a lot of resources available. Yeah, I agree. Yep. Tech people about online learning, he said, sometimes get distracted during lessons. Also, I sometimes abuse the privilege of having lectures recorded. Yeah. Favorite food spot on campus slash in Atlanta. Antico, a bit expensive, but an occasional treat. Top tip for de-stressing, he said, Netflix, going to the gym, chilling on tech green. If you could tell your freshman self something on day one, what would it be? Trust the process and be a bit more patient. Our next response is from Janielle. Love you, Janielle. She is from Jamaica. She's a civil engineering major and she actually applied to GT as ME, but then changed to CE because we started, I started and I felt aligned more with my career goals. Nice one. What other schools did she consider? And she said she applied to a lot, but to name a few, Carnegie Mellon. Why she chose tech instead of necessity, but then I visited and I really liked the campus. She lived in Montague on West and she gave it a 6 out of 10. Horror stories, she said, not really, my roommate was pretty chill. We love that. What's the hardest class you've taken at tech and why? Possibly intro to linear algebra or multivariable calculus, but both of those were situational, not necessarily because the content was unbearably difficult, but the content was difficult. <laughs> Yeah. She rated dining hall food a 5 out of 10. What's well, been a highlight of your friends at Texas Watch? She said, GT night, six flags. Oh, that was yeah, so that fun. Was, that was. They were GT tradition. She said, mid, maybe midnight breakfast. What do you think is the hardest thing about being at tech? Finding time to do things I want to do for me, like cooking and going to the gym. I know, right? I know, right? Pet peeve about online learning is easy to fall behind, but I like the hybrid structure and it's good for detailed note taking. Okay. Her favorite food spot on campus in Atlanta is Panera Bread and Subway when they were here. What is her top tip for de stressing? She said, just spacing for a while, going to the gym, watching a K drama. <laughs> Love that. If you can tell your freshman self one thing, what would it be? Plan from early, don't just wing it, try to create different weekly scheduling structures and try them out to see what works for you and be honest with yourself. Yes. Yeah. Our next response is from Drama Please, <laughs> Sarah Zack. <laughs> Sarah is our roommate, she's our common roommate now, she's just hilarious, so yeah. And she is an industrial engineer and she is from Georgia, but she's actually lived in many different places, just to give herself the credit, she's yeah. quite international, <laughs> so let's get to it. 
Did you change your major and why? Yes, I changed from economics and international affairs mostly because I discovered I have a strong disliking for economic classes. <laughs> yes, I enjoyed international affairs but not enough for it to be my major and I actually took more STEM focused classes throughout high school and had considered engineering so I decided to switch my major to engineering. I really enjoyed my current major. Pick up industrial engineers. Yes, that's good. Do you mind sharing what other schools you applied to? I said I had a really hard time choosing where I wanted to be while I was also considering Stanford and UPenn. You actually consider both of those at some point. Yeah. What would you say is one thing that made you choose tech? I really liked the range of STEM degrees they offer and the in-state tuition was also nice. She lived in a tower. Yes, me. And she gave it a 5 out of 10. Wow. So her standards are quite high. Yeah. Some horror stories about living with a roommate. Yes, my roommate. So many horror stories. I don't even know where to begin. Joke, she was the best. <laughs> What's the highest class you've taken in 10? She said CS2316. Yeah, this seems to be a common theme for industrial engineers. I actually quite enjoyed the class, but the homework took me thousands of hours every week and I literally felt like all I did was stare at clothes. You rated dining hall food a 4 out of 10. What has been your highlight of your experience with tech so far? Hmm, hard to say. I think I just really enjoyed the whole experience. I love the atmosphere that tech has. I love the opportunities that tech provides. I have met so many of the best people. Overall experience is honestly a 10 out of 10. Favorite jeans tradition, she said my favorite is the Ramney Rex mascot. I'm getting to touch it after freshman year. Sad I haven't touched it yet. We got to touch it. <laughs> what do you think is the hardest thing about being at tech? Tech is hard. Academically, it's very challenging, but there's also amazing support here. So peppy about online learning, the way some professors organize their campus pages. Yeah, oh my <laughs> it's God. so nice. Like physics too, you saw it out, literally. <laughs> a favorite food spot on campus or in Atlanta is Pond City Market. Mm -hmm. Top tip for de-stressing, she said, take time to do something fun with friends, even when you don't feel like you have the time. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like we're going to we're going we're to, the going to the park today because we can and we haven't done any of them and it's on <laughs> If you could tell your freshman self something on day one, what would it be? Really try to just enjoy the present moment and don't pass up on opportunities to have fun. I know, yeah. yeah. Anything anything else you'd like to add as you said, come to tech, it's the best. Yes. It's come to tech. Our last response is from Tyler. He's a computer science major and he actually also has a YouTube channel and he also makes really cool videos. Way better editing. Way like, better editing than us. So yeah. we're gonna just leave his YouTube on the screen or will be in the description. Please go subscribe to him anyway. What other places did you apply? Stanford, Harvard, UGA. What would you say is the one thing that made you choose tech? The price for in-state combined with the excellence of the program offerings was unbeatable. What freshman dorm did he live in? He lived in Cloudman. And he gave it a three out of 10. <laughs> Freshman dorm horror stories, he said, our toilets quite literally exploded at least once a week. Also, had no shower heads. Oh, and it was either freezing or a desert. I preferred freezing law. It was an experience for sure, but made me strong. Wow. Down. The hardest class you've taken at tech and why? Multivariable calculus. Right. First fully online class almost failed, probably because the class was not set up well for online, but got better as the semester went on. It was not it. it was the teacher terrible. was speaking a different language. It was not. Rate the dining hall food, and he gave it a five. Highlight of our experience at Tech so far, meeting so many incredible people and just hanging out quite simply, but really nice for a nerdy tech school. Mm -hmm. Favorite Jesus tradition, he said, I got to ride in the wreck recently, so probably that. I want to ride in the wreck! Hardest thing about being our tech, and he said, feeling worthy for me at least. Comparison is impossible, but it only hurts me. Yeah. Guys, don't compare yourself. Yeah. Stop it. Pet peeve about online learning, getting in bed and falling asleep during class, and classes that aren't interactive anymore. Favorite food spot on campus, he said, Ponko chicken. Top tip of de-stressing, going on a run, 100% house every time. I literally just want to be that person that can just go on runs. If you could tell your freshman self one thing, what would it be? And said, don't worry too much about classes and enjoy the experience. Not having a 4.0 will matter in five years for your experience as well. Okay guys, I hope that was insightful, I hope it was helpful. Thank you so much to everybody who responded to us and thank you yeah. so much for watching. If you don't mind, can you like and subscribe? If you don't mind, check out our other videos. And make sure to follow us on Instagram and obviously subscribe to this channel. We've said that before. But anyway guys, stay tuned and we will catch you in our next video. Bye.